Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Neverboard Overview. I believe this is like a first real attempt to bring old school Oculus rooms to the Quest platform. I missed that period because I started my VR career with Quest 1, but I believe its premise was like a hub where you could bring your friends and hang around or play board games. I guess pretty much what this project presents. So Neverboard seems to be a free social platform where you're put in the room with a couple friends or hopefully strangers if there's matchmaking, choose from the various board games available and just hang around. What's interesting is that it lets you practice or play by yourself every game there is available in the application and then if you want to do a multiplayer session you have to buy it with in-game currency which it claims can be collected every day and then eventually you'll be able to buy the full package or I guess just straight up pay for it. From just the marketing standpoint I feel like it's a pretty fair system to gather a good player base because we don't really have experiences like that on Quest that focus on like multiple board games. We have like selected genres or specific gameplays but nothing really party centered to just easily get into and play casually. I hope I won't be like forever alone in this and I will find some people to play with. It's a simple concept and sometimes it's just good to not complex things for no reason and just focus on bringing the entertainment for the players. Let's get on with it. Practice offline with houseplants. <laughs> I suppose we don't have matchmaking or stuff like that. Yeah, it seems like it. The list is empty because I have no friends. <laughs> that kind of sucks but at the same time I understand. Oh, okay, so we buy stuff to throw stuff. Whoa, I guess we go offline. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> I guess that's my kind of audience. Vincent Van Grow. So, what's crazy? Eight. A classic game where eights are wild. Be the first to discard all your cards to win by matching either the color or number. Basically, Uno, I think. I'm not like extremely familiar with the rules, but it seems like an exact copy. Treasure. Race to collect the most treasure and bury it first. Steal, slide, change direction, and swap places to be the winner. I think that's like the most interesting one. We'll see the crazy eights first and then a little bit of treasure. What are those hands? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be very silent. <laughs> so I'm matching the colors. Or numbers, yeah. What is this night? This, I guess, changes colors, right? Okay. Interestingly, it's even the symbols from the cards, but the colors are, like, mismatched. I wonder if there's, like, a card to draw. Damn it. Plants are winning over me. What the hell? Maybe you actually don't have a drawing like cards. I think in Uno it was like two, three, and then four, I think you stayed? Or was it a different game? I'm so confused. <laughs> yes, I won. Be his. <laughs> you have nothing on me, plants. So we just try offline over and over. Oh, the same plant. <laughs> Give me this treasure, it seems like a fun little mode. I see. So we go into the certain directions by just numbers. Okay. Where am I? I think I am the treasure actually. <laughs> what if I stomp on him? Like four? Oh, I steal his treasure. Okay. That's interesting. There's no dice. It's like you get just certain amount of movement with cards. Power move. All hands on Not to the left. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I mean, maybe it was better. <laughs> I guess the goal is to collect every treasure there is on the map or actually this crown. Maybe I should just go back. I need 12. So I have it. 9 and 3. Arr. And I'm kicking him, just in case. Ah, okay. So it commences the end of the game. What? He went there. So I have to go back on the spot, I guess. I see. I don't have numbers for it. I just have five, I guess.
what I want again. All right, it's pretty cute. I mean, for something that's like very simple in design, it should work very well with someone that you know or like just friends in general. I wish it would have matchmaking because then you would have an opportunity to get to know some other people by just playing casual games. But I suppose it's not in the wheelhouse of the developers to create a feature like that or something. I don't know. Maybe the whole focus was just to jump into the simple games with a couple of friends and that's pretty much it. Everything works fine. Games are very easy to understand and there is some coins system to just, I guess, throw stuff. I don't know. Like, sure. <laughs>